try to understand uh, the relationship between the permissible values of the L, the L as a, as a mutual quantum number for a given principal quantum number. So the what are the quantum numbers? Uh, the num numbers which are uh, which we obtain as a result of Schrodinger's wave equation, as a solution to Schrodinger's wave equation, and and they define and they define and they they say about 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 the orbitals in which electrons and then in which there is a maximum probability of finding electrons. So the principal quantum number uh, n and as a middle quantum number l denoted by small l small n for the, the principal quantum number n uh, for its value of uh, value one uh, the permissible va the permissible value of uh, azimuth as the quantum number quantum number l will be zero for any for n for for, for the principal quantum number uh, n having value one its permissible Azimuthal quantum number will be is only zero having one value and so it's zero and what is a sub sub shell denoted by it in this shell the, the, the principal quantum number denotes the shells right one means the first shell two means the second shell three means the third shell four means the fourth shell k k l m and n shell right for in for value of n to be one the value of L is, is having, there is only one value of L and that is zero. And how is this denoted? It's not that, and, what, and the combination of it denotes a subshell. 1S. 1S in the subshell. In the first shell K. In the first shell K. There's only one subshell and that is 1S. 1 is the principal quantum number and 0. Value of 0. L is equal to 0 means that its shape is, it is S. So one S is what? It is shop shell. It is sub shell in the first shell, K shell. Now for that, for for N having value two, for any for principal quantum number, if the principal quantum number is two, so what are the values of what are the possible values of L? It, it will be zero and one. Remember the value of L depends on on the value of N. And it will its value will range from zero. It will be it will be zero to n minus 1 so it's 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 are two values of l possible when the principal quantum number is 2 okay since there are since there are so there since, since there are two values of l 0 and 1 that means there are two subshells and what are those two subshells those are 2 s and 2 p Two indicates the principal quantum number, the principal the principal quantum number, the principal shell, and this indicates S and P. L equal to zero means S, L equal to one means P. So two S and two P. What are they? They are the notations for the subshells. Subshells when the principal quantum number, no, quantum number is two, for the second shell, two S and two P. Now, if the principal quantum number is 3, what well, maybe the values of L? This value will be 0, 1, and 2. So, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2. How is 3, 0 rep represented? 3 is represented as 3, and 0, value of L, 0 is represented, represented as S. 0 means S, value of zero, value of L being 1 means P, value of L being 2 means D. It's denoted by the letter D. So, why are we, we using let uh, we uh, we are using letters to denote the value of L? L equal to zero means S. L is equal to one means P, and L is equal to two means D. So, what will be the sh what will the notations of the subshells in a particular main shell, the principal shell? It will be three S, three P, three S, three P, three D, three D. So 3s, 3p, 3p, and 3d are subshells, right? Subshells with the principal quantum within the third shell, in the third main shell. Similarly, when the value of uh, the value of n is four, the fourth shell, 
value of n also denotes i want to i want to uh, add one point here the value of n also denotes number of shelf cells present here for the first shell there will be only one sub shell for the second shell n equals two there will be two shelf cells for the third sh shell three n equals three there will be three sh shelf cells and what are they three s three p and three d for the fourth shell the fourth principal quantum number the four if the principal quantum number is four for the fourth shelf shell a uh, fourth principal shell or fourth main shell there will be four shop cells sub shells okay and what are, what will be those sub shells to so the four s four p four d and four f from n equal to four what are the possible values of l it will be zero one two and three zero means s one value of l value of l equal to one means p and value of l equal to two means d value of l equal to three is denoted by the letter f and the combination of the principal and the azimuthal quantum number is used to denote the subshell, right? 4, 0 means 4, S, 4, 1 means 4, P, 4, 2 means 4, D, and 4, 3 means 4, F. So these are the subshells den sub denoted. Other vitals, the subshells. Now let's try to understand the relationship between the subshell and number of orbitals. This is the relationship between the principal quantum number and the azimuthal quantum number, the L, the value of n and L, how and how those how those two numbers are used to used to write. Uh, we used to give the notations of the subshell. Now we will try to understand the relationship between the value of the the subshell, the subshell, and how many orbitals it has. We have understood from the above table that the value for the values of L, the values of L are denoted by letters. L equal to 0 means S, L equal to 1 means P, L equal to 2 means D, small d, L equal to 3 means F, after this. Now L equal to 4 means Z and L equal to 5 means H. These are the, these are the possible values of the azimuthal quantum number denoted by small l. But these numbers again have again have letters to them. Letters which are designated well, uh, can be replaced by letters and what are these letters these letters are used to denote and they are used for subshell notation zero is denoted by small s one is denoted by p two is denoted by d and three is denoted by f so that we can we are able to write the subshells four is denoted by g small g and five is denoted by small h so the number of orbitals for s in s subshell there will be two there will be one orbital there's only one kind of orbital. In P subshell, there will, three, there will be three orbitals. And in a D subshell, for any D subshell, there will, there will be five orbitals. In the F subshell, there will be seven orbitals. So G, nine. And in H, H subshell, there will be 11 orbitals. And you know, in, in, in H orbital, there will be two electrons. So these are number of orbitals that are possible in a given subshell. For example, if someone asks 4s, so if there's 1s, right, it's s, so there's only one orbital. If it is p, 2p, there will be three orbitals in p, in p subshell. It may be 2p, it may be 3p, or it may be 4p. If it is p, there will be three orbitals, three orb, three orbitals possible. The shape of 2p, 3p, and 4p we sim will be similar but it will be a little different in size 2p will be small 3p will be a little bit bigger and 4p will be more will get bigger than the 3p but their size will say will be uh, will be will have same shape but of bigger sizes similarly the orbitals will be same p means there will be three orbitals sorry the orbitals uh, uh, the orbitals will be the same similarly for if there is d shell, there will be five orbitals for f there will be seven for G, there will be 9 orbitals and for H, there will be 11 orbitals. Hope this is clear.